Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I have here maybe the ultimate survival water bottle. It has a lot of contents in here that could make the difference between life and death. We're going to take a quick look at it for you. I definitely think with the size here, this is a good item that you could put in your bug out bag, your get home bag, or just toss it in your vehicle. That way you've got a few items there that ultimately could save your life. So we take a look at the outside of the bottle here. You have a large bundle of 550 paracord here. You have a, a carabiner, and then of course your actual plastic water bottle here. So this kit weighs just over a pound. I measure in as one pound, almost one ounce. So uh, a fairly lightweight, something that's you know, not gonna take a lot of space in your bug out bag, your get home bag. So I went and dumped everything out to kind of show you guys what's in the kit, make it a little easier. Uh, scroll through everything, but you can see just how much is jam-packed in this water bottle. I wanted to say before I get started that if you have not checked out the Sensible Prepper channel, Such over there, uh, he has a fantastic channel that's basically this right here. So when I talk about there's a condom in here, I know we're number one what we come to that's used for, but he has like a video, I think it's like top 20 uses for a condom. He has top 20 uses for uh, paracord, um, zip tie. So go check out his channel. Um, and if you see a video, tell him Skinny Medic sent you. So that'll, that'll be good for you. So I appreciate that. So let's scroll through all this that's listed in here and we'll kind of go down. So nine volt battery. Uh, obviously we could use that in conjunction with the steel wool that's here for fire starting. So we wanna make sure that we can have water. We can start fire for hypothermia to cook with things like that. So we have all of our uh, needs taken care of. You have some aluminum foil here. Uh, back up one second, apologize. Some alcohol uh, prep pads here. Two band-aids here. You have a little button compass here. Then we have uh, a saw, which can be obviously we're going to use that for wood, things like that, to get some fire started for us. We have a condom. There's more uses to a condom than that's what you're thinking. I know but you could carry water. Uh, there's tons of uses for that. You have some duct tape here that's wrapped up. We have a uh, fire starter, ferro rod and striker. So, very good. Get it put back together, maybe, ish. There we go. You've got a fishing kit here. So it comes with some line, comes with your hooks and things like that. You have a uh, magnifier. You have some string here, a little knife. You have a uh, lighter with some kennel here. You have some magnesium shavings here. I have some of these with a, a fire starter that I keep in my truck. And man, those things just really light off, especially if you've got wet uh, environment, wet wood, things like that. Awesome. So then we have a mirror here. Obviously we can use this for signaling um, just in case we need to. Um, Signal down, someone. So uh, we have a can opener here. You have a little push button LED in case you don't have a light on you. You have some safety pins here. You've got some uh, fire starter inside the little straws here. We already mentioned the steel wool. Then you have some uh, matches here. These are the stormproof matches. Then we have a survival card tool, so multiple tools just on this one particular card here. You have a tampon. Now, go check out my other video on tampons, okay? You're gonna, these are not for gunshot wounds, okay? I'll just leave it at that. So uh, these will help with minor to moderate bleeding. Uh, you can use it as a fire starter. Uh, obviously, if you, for a feminine product, use it what it's designed for. But do not use this for a gunshot wound, please, guys. Go check out that video I did on this. Then we have a razor. We have water purification. We have some wax string here. And I believe this was, yeah, the more wet fire. We have a whistle in case we need a signal down uh, so the first responders can't hear you. And then some zip ties. So you have multiple ways of starting fires. That way, if your lighter fails, then you can use uh, your nine volt battery with the steel wool, push it to it, and it's gonna help start the fire. You've got some kindling there, so you have multiple ways. You've got multiple sharp objects here to start using it to, um, maybe if you need to cut 
a deer, if you took down a deer, I guess, in a survival situation. Um, but multiple ways to start a fire. You've got some water purification. You can boil the water um, if you can get it heated up in a, in a, in a metal container. So you got paracord you can start working on uh, for shelter, things like that. So good kit overall. I'd like to thank Scott, one of my subscribers, for sending me this kit right here. Uh, he has these set up for sale for you guys at theultimatekit.com. So go over to the website, check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. So thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember the right gear and the right training. Oh, my dad's calling me. Hold on. All right, so just for giggles, Mrs. Skinny Medic was able to put everything back in there. So we'll see if I can put everything back in there. And I'm just going to, when I get everything put back in there, then I'm going to put this in my truck and leave it just in case. Oops, take that out. Surely I can get all this back in there. If Mrs. Skinny Medic, oops, I said there was two band-aids. There's actually three band-aids in there. folks she got it all back in there I think I should have started with the bigger items first I have to get a skinny medic to pack this back in there for me. Oops. I can put it like that. Hey, there we go. Boom. Back in business. I'm going to throw this in my truck so I'll have it. Go with my IFACs, my shelter I already have in my truck, ready to go.